Hey ya, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So I want to play some more Matrix Awaken today. I've already played this yesterday during my stream and I was so impressed by it. But because I was playing it during my stream, I wasn't really able to soak it all in. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm so excited for the movie. I can't wait. I already have my ticket. Hi, I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors. Reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make. The worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that. Why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking Wait, that's up not part of the movie? To come oh here. my god. That it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Yo, I thought that was really Keanu. <laughs> I think Keanu that's Reed. really Keanu. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry That's where so actors cool. have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. Twenty years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? Oh my god. Can you imagine the kids who would grow up? What just happened? Yeah, this During is... During that time? What they wanted. They said they were fine with your theoretical mumbo-jumbo, but they needed some sexy action. Who said? The marketing people. The marketing? <laughs> I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. <laughs> Welcome to the Matrix. Wow. You still got it. Like riding a bike, they say. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Ooh. Word of advice: agents are bad. I see what you did but there. You do, <laughs> stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. a movie before shoot the tires say no more For some reason, 
imagine I'm thinking of zombies right now. scenarios in my head right now. That was so unreal. I'm kidding. Anyways, that looked great. Keep in mind, I'm playing... This isn't on my PC, okay? I'm playing on my PS5. And I love how they kept in theme with, you know, blurring the lines of what's real and what's not. Unreal. Get it? <laughs> it's actually... It's, I like it. I'm sold on that joke. I love how quickly it can change everything. Look at that. Look at that. It makes the world come to life. Can you imagine if the GTA Trilogy Remaster was like this? Whoa. versus display pixels. Okay. Let's explore this one more time. Alright, so here we are. No, I can't 
think of a better way to show off this new engine. Okay, it comes on the map we could depict. You know, the world feels so alive. It's... or not. Like the Matrix. <laughs> anyway, let's just fly here so we can take in the scene. Wow. Look at the lighting, you guys. Like, I, I love how... Look at how it just bounces off. You know, if you were just passing by the screen right now and you weren't paying too much attention, this could pass for a real drone footage. Don't you think? I mean, if you're just like... Actually, even if you let yourself zone in on it, you could forget that you're playing a game. <laughs> Even the shadows, they look really good. Like they look smooth. Oh, you know what? Another thing I noticed too, I haven't seen any pop-up issues. Like all the buildings in the distance, they're just there. Like everything is just already... See? Everything's just already there no matter where you look. That's cool. <sighs> Whoa, look at that. Attack on Titan. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. <laughs> I'm a Titan. I really do feel like I'm in the Matrix, you guys. Except I don't know Kung Fu. <laughs> Anyway, how far can we go out? And I, I think let's explore this part. Let's try going here. Okay. Alright. We can't go any further than that. For a second there, I thought it would let us go farther out. Okay, let's check out the NPCs. How are they behaving? What are they doing? This guy actually has a cup of coffee. Wait, are they waiting for the crosswalk to turn white? Let's wait. Will it actually turn white? Let's wait, let's wait. Oh, they're moving. Let's check out, let's check this out. Oh my god, the traffic signals actually work in the Unreal 5 Matrix! Okay, let's get this car. Let's get this bread. <laughs> okay, I, need, I need to drive around the city. Excuse me! the only place where I won't get a ticket. Practicing my driving skills. Let's go on the highway. You know, the traffic and the number of cars feels really... feels really real. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Okay, let's check out some collision physics here. Let me practice my driving. Oh my god! My car is pretty strong. Truck. Okay. Trucks are the limits. <laughs> Trucks are the limits. 
trucks or buses are the limits. I see, I see. Oh, I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> okay, we're just flying through the city again. Yeah, look at the different densities of people in cars, like on the streets or freeways. It's a living, breathing city. Like Free Guy. <laughs> cars, it's... Oh, you guys saw that. We've had our first pop up um, issue on the right. It's on that. A uh, sidewalk with the people. You know, at some point, all this fake stuff will feel even more real than the real stuff. You know what I mean? Especially as more kids grow up on this stuff. It's gonna be trippy. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me while we took a quick journey through the Unreal 5's Matrix. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new engine and also the new movie. Now, I actually was able to see the first movie already, but I bet some of you guys were able to watch it in the theaters and that must have been an experience. I wish I saw it in the movie theaters for the first time. <laughs> anyway. As always, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.